it just dawned on us, we actually have something that would be really important and useful. It wasn't a very thoughtful decision, it was almost automatic. So we decided early to donate, not to sell hand sanitizer. We wanted to donate first to healthcare, to frontline workers, to first responders. Uh, St. E's is the key healthcare player in Northern Kentucky, and uh, it was a natural. They were one of our very first uh, contacts, phone calls. The wonderful thing about the donation, they, they donated two 55-gallon drums of sanitizer, and with that amount, I didn't have to pick and choose where the sanitizer went. Uh, everyone was able to get sanitizer, and that actually spread to the community as well. To me again, and to my distilling team, this is a no-brainer. They're heroes, and <laughs> we're making hand sanitizer. I mean, it, it's no big deal as far as I'm concerned. I have uh, no doubt in my mind uh, with being able to help out not only our teammates, but the community that uh, this donation really helped keep people from being sick and, and probably save lives. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your generous donation. Mm -hmm. Not only did you help St. Elizabeth, you helped the community out, uh, and without a doubt, your don donation helped save lives. Well, thank you, Matthew, and thanks to St. E for the heroic things that you have done and continue to do for this community, and we're glad to have played a small part. Thank you, sir. Thank you.